Hey, what's up guys? This is Andrew from Soft Modern. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the LG G3 Home Launcher on your HTC One. Now this does work with the M8 and M7. Just make sure that you have your bootloader unlocked and you have a custom recovery like TWRP installed. Now this is an official from LG. This is a port um, made from a system dump of the G3. So there's not everything working 100% but everything that I've tried has worked. The only thing that doesn't is the um, gestures, like the tap to unlock and the double tap to sleep of the status bar. But you could always just install a custom kernel or just use like, an exposed module to get that same functionality on. So to get started, you're going to want to download the LG G3 Home Launcher zip that I linked in the full tutorial in the description. So be sure to download that. And then after you have it downloaded, it should be in your downloads folder of your device. So after that's there, just restart into recovery mode. To do that, hold the power and volume down button for around like 15 to 20 seconds until you see your bootloader menu. All right, now you should be in your bootloader menu. Mine is black because I converted my M8 to the Google edition. So that's why it's black. Yours should look white, but the menu items are the same. So just use your volume down button to go to recovery, press power to confirm, and your device will reboot into recovery mode. All right, now that you're in your recovery, hit the install option, scroll down to download, and then select the um, home.zip that you downloaded earlier, swipe to flash, and now Aroma will start up. All right, the first menu in Aroma is just picking the theme that you want for the installer. It doesn't matter which one you do. It's still gonna install the same uh, launcher and weather widget. So you'll just agree to the terms. It also, you can have the option to select the weather widget or not. I usually just install it. I left everything pretty much default how it came, just selecting all the files that it can. You also want to clear the Dalvik cache after the install. So just got to install, take like a minute, and then after it's done, you will select the finish option and then reboot your system. All right, so now that your phone's restarted, go ahead and set up your default launcher. Go we'll do that from the settings app. Let's go to home and then select the home LG launcher. Now when you go back, you'll see the home launcher already set up. Now pretty much it looks the same like any other launcher. It has a bunch of home screens and you could add a widgets and all that. But the main thing you're going to change is your app drawer. Now you're going to have app and widget sections and a search icon as well. You could also click the gear icon on top and rearrange the icons wherever you want them. And then just hit the check mark up top to save that uh, layout. Now, sometimes you're going to get tips like this on the screen. Not all of them apply the, to this because it is a port and it is an official release from LG. Some of them don't work on every phone. Like um, double, like the knock and um, slide up. When you slide up, you're still going to get the Google Launcher as well. Now, if you tap and hold on an icon, you also get this paintbrush, which allows you to change the icons of whatever app you have on your home screen. You could choose any of the ones that come with the launcher, or you could select a photo from your gallery as well. Now, you have a couple options when you want to rearrange your home screen. You could either press and hold the screen and then manage them this way. Or if you want to just delete them entirely, just pinch towards the middle and you'll be able to add one or press and hold to delete as well. Now this is the weather widget that comes with it. This is the LG widget and it also comes with the app as well. So if you go into your app drawer, you should now see this weather app as well. Alright guys, so that pretty much covers it for the LG Home Launcher. Be sure to also check out our guide to get the G3 keyboard on your device so you can pretty much have a G3 at least software-wise, on your HTC One. Hope this helped you guys out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial link in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.